Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the articles will be in the info section of this video. We start with the Ward County elections in June. As you know, can't access the websites because of EU rules and America not complying with them and the UK not being in the EU or something such like. The science behind cloud seeding, KX News, weather modification is on the ballot in Ward County for the June elections. Meteorologist Amber Wheeler breaks down the science of cloud seeding. So as mentioned, if you're in the UK or the EU and you click on the links, obviously you're banned from looking. If you're not in those areas, take a look. So Ward County voters share their concerns about county's continued participation in weather modification. But it's also KX News. In Ward County, there's a strong push to bring an end to weather modification, also known as cloud seeding. We spoke to 10 voters about the issue. $4.2 million and we still get hail. Weather modification in a cloud of secrecy. Kelly Anderson, Minot weather modification is a hot topic right now because of the current ballot measure. But it's in the headline there, isn't it? $4.2 million and we still get hail. So that's how much they're spending in Ward County on weather modification. Over to the Straits Times for Indonesia. Cloud seeding in Indonesia aims to prevent forest fires. Operations will continue until the end of the dry season, which has begun in some regions. Indonesia is carrying out cloud seeding operations to induce rain in regions prone to forest fires. This will continue until the dry season ends in September. Since the middle of this month, cloud seeding operations have been carried out over wet peatlands. Since early May, the level of the water table in the peatland has dropped. Therefore, we have to wet it again. And that was said by... Um, the head of the Weather Modification Technology Division of the Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology, also known as the BPPT. Do you want that one again? The head of the Weather Modification Technology Division of the Agency for the Assessment and Application of Technology. If left unaddressed, a drought could threaten Indonesia's food security as it battles the COVID-19 epidemic which has already killed 1,473 people and infected 23,851 in the country. The Meteorology, Climatology and Geophysical Agency, BMKG, in late March forecast a wetter dry season for most of Indonesia this year than last year. About 30% of the country, however, is likely to experience a drier than usual season. The President early this month warned the cabinet about a dry season that is drier than usual which would affect agriculture. For those of you who don't know how cloud seeding works what you do is you spray particulates into the sky over a certain area this attracts moisture from another area and creates rain in the area you would like to such as in Indonesia is doing over peatland and that increased rainfall. The moisture that's attracted to the area comes from another area, thus it causes drought. You can increase rain anywhere you like, but you're going to cause a drought somewhere else. Danger warning from Mothership. Indonesians at higher risk of getting COVID-19 and dying from it if haze reappears. Haze could cause a shortage of N95 masks for frontline workers. Haze increases risk of COVID-19 could lead to shortage in N95 masks. They should also take steps such as weather modification and cloud seeding to prevent the outbreak of fires. So that's not weather modification by cloud seeding methods. Weather modification by cloud seeding methods and weather modification. No mothership, no. Over to the Irish Legal News and uh, the prize winners at Trinity College Law Review Kevin Keane was named the inaugural winner of the David Alteras Best Public Policy Article Prize for his article, Geoengineering the Climate, a Preliminary Examination of International Governance Challenges and Opportunities, receiving a €500 Euro cash prize. A quick stop-off at the Ohio Valley Environmental Coalition. If you fancy a long read, Full Solutions to Climate Change, Geoengineering. It's a long read. Believe me. So if you fancy a nice long read on geoengineering, head over to that one. In the New Musical Express, NME, 
Lana Del Rey announces Chemtrails Over the Country Club as her new album title. The record is set for release on September the 5th. Over to the United Arab Emirates, Dubai. A wild week for weather. It's already already been a wild week for the weather in Dubai. Cloud seeding led to storm damage across Dubai. It even caused shock floods like these across the Emirates. And in the national, UAE runs cloud seeding missions as more wild weather closes in. Damak Hills was one of the worst hit on Sunday with trees felled and roofs damaged. The weather centre confirmed it was running cloud seeding missions to maximise the impact of rainfall on the dry desert environment. We could see wood and debris flying through the air on the construction site near to Damak Hills. When people are saying we could see wood and debris flying through the air on the construction site and that storm is because of cloud seeding, it's only going to be a matter of time before Dubai advances to the same level as Tasmania when Snowy Hydro killed Mary Alford in their weather med- modification to do with hydropower, which is the same level occupied by um, people in the states of Kerala and Karnataka, etc. in India that are carrying out weather modification activities and killed lots of people over the last couple of years in Kerala, a southern state in India. Quite a few hundred people have been killed due to weather modification activities carried out by governments in India. So Dubai isn't there yet, they're just getting wood and debris flying through the air on construction sites, hey. But they're nearly at the level where they're on the same level as, for example, the UK, 1952, when they killed 35 people in the Limba flood. Keep at it, Dubai. It won't be long before you're killing people in what you're doing. You definitely will get there because it happens. It's been confirmed many times. So keep it up because you will start to kill people eventually. Time to get a bit technical. Popular mechanics. Scientists yell at clouds. Also shoot lasers at them. They say fog clearing could shape the future. Now we're going to take this article first and then take the report next. So this does get a bit clearer as it goes on. Might not sound that clear in the beginning. Narrow laser bore tunnels through the clouds could clear the way for fiberless fibre speeds. Unlike cloud nucleation, the laser vaporises water and doesn't generate rain. For now, demonstrations are limited to very small scale, but researchers say they're prepared to clear channels up to 100 metres long, which can then be chained. Different lasers have shown promise in reaching lengths into the kilometres. Researcher Mulder Schroeder colloquially calls the process weather control, but the paper describing his team's work has the technical term molecular quantum wakes. Molecular quantum wakes. Molecular quantum wakes for clearing fog. Just go through the abstract. High intensity laser filamentation in air has recently demonstrated that through plasma generation and its associated shock wave, fog can be cleared around the beam, leaving an optically transparent path to transmit light. However, for practical applications like free space optical communication, FSO, Channels of multi-centimetre diameters over kilometre ranges are required, which is extremely challenging for a plasma-based method. Here, we report a radically different approach based on quantum control. We demonstrate that fog clearing can also be achieved by producing molecular quantum wakes in air, and that neither plasma generation nor filamentation are required. The effect is clearly associated with the rephasing time of the rotational wave packet in N2 pump excitation provided in the form of resonant trains of eight pulses separated by the revival time are able to transmit optical data through fog with initial extinction as much as minus six decibels. Does that make sense? Did you want to go over it again? Molecular quantum wakes. 
whether modification incorporated or looking for an aviation maintenance technician. If you know anyone that wants to get involved in weather modification and screwing up the environment, then there's a job available in North Dakota. Over to resources for the future. The third prong, solar radiation management as a climate intervention. Exploring the potential of solar geoengineering in mitigating climate change risks. On Thursday, June the 4th, you can join scientists, sorry, scholars from Harvard University's Kennedy School online as they discuss their recent research evaluating a three-pronged strategy for mitigating climate change risks, adding adaptation and amelioration through solar radiation management, SRM, to the emissions mitigation approach. There's a link to that in the info section. Pleased to see that. And I clicked on it, and it does work without being signed in or anything that come up with that. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.